variant is now the dominant strain of coronavirus in the U.S. and it is rapidly spreading. In just one week, the number of infections here in Georgia have nearly doubled. Hospitalizations are increasing steadily, but we aren't seeing them spike as quickly as cases. Public health officials are hopeful vaccines will work, even as Omicron appears to be the most contagious, contagious variant yet. Hospital data typically lags a few days behind test data, so we won't know until about next week the extent of this surge. Tonight, the Department of Public Health is encouraging the 40% of people who have not yet received a shot to do so now. If you already did, get a booster. And that advice goes for every member of your family who is eligible. President Joe Biden addressing the country today with this message for parents. Please get them vaccinated. If you're a parent, understandably, who waited to see how the first shots went with other kids before getting your own kid vaccinated, you can stop waiting. Six million children in our country, ages 5 to 11, are vaccinated. Get your children protected today, now. The president also announcing half a billion free rapid tests will be sent in the coming weeks to anyone who requests one. The system for that on how to request it is still being set up. We are seeing high demand for tests right now in Metro Atlanta as people prepare to travel to see family for the holidays and COVID cases surge. Caitlin Ross explains what you could experience if you're getting tested this week. Doctors I talked to today say President Biden's announcement could help ease this. Lines wrapped around the block at some testing sites. Hundreds of people sat frustrated waiting to get tested today. Our numbers team checked to see how the case numbers have changed since right before Thanksgiving. The number of people coming down with COVID started skyrocketing, even though testing only went up a little bit. The CDC wants to see positivity rates below 5%. That's the orange line. In just one week, that rate has doubled. And we are so sick of this whole thing. I mean, we're almost two years into this uh, pandemic and, you know, it, we would all love to just burn our masks and just gather like we used to and get back to life pre-2020. But that's not safe. Dr. Emily Volk is the president of the College of American Pathologists and says time is ticking for people to get tested for COVID before gathering for the holidays. If you have been exposed to someone with COVID-19, um, you need to test about five days after that exposure. If you've had a known exposure to COVID-19 uh, and it's been less than those five days and you intend to travel and you've tested negative, I would recommend that you hold off on traveling. She says it's vital that people moving through airports, trains and bus terminals mask up in the holiday crowds and make sure they're in the clear before attending any holiday events. I'm recommending to my friends and family that they test the day uh, they intend to travel. If you need to get tested, it's a good idea to call ahead and try and make an appointment instead of just showing up. If you want one of those at home tests, try drugstores that are a little outside the metro community, which may have a lower demand. And much more now on those at home test kits. You may not be able to get many. Walgreens and CVS are limiting how many tests you can buy. At Walgreens, you can buy four. CVS is only letting you buy six at a time. That counts for in store and online purchases. Walmart is limiting online purchases to eight kits. And as of today, Matt.